enough rivalry in the dictionary, and you might as well see a picture of these two SEC schools. Today's winner will have bragging rights for a long time, folks. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Carlson is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, today we get to watch one of the great wide receivers in college football. Pickens' footwork, his great hands, his speed, he is a dangerous offensive weapon. No doubt, Brad. He's really one of the most exciting players to watch in college football. He catches everything that's thrown his way and is a legitimate deep threat downfield to make big plays for this offense. He's going to face some double, sometimes even triple team coverage. And I think today, this defense, they might do a decent job of slowing him down, but eventually, he's too dangerous. He's going to make some big plays. Brought down at the 35. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. That's a seven-yard gain. He got just a little bit of separation from the defender, and that was enough room for him to make the catch. Got him for a loss. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. From their own 39-yard line, it's third down. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. Set. 390. Great. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Williams takes the give. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. Second and nine coming up here. Ball in the 42. at the 45-yard line. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 45. That's a game of 10 on the way. First down. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. From the 45-yard line, second down. The Tigers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. might want it all here and does this one will fall incomplete i'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing line marshall he's got a chance to put the defense in great position they can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback 
Atlanta goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. He's out of bounds around the 24-yard line. catch but he didn't get the first down yeah right now the way this defense is swarming there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down they look like they've got the block on and this offensive line's got to give him some time george is loving this crowd support and they get it week in and week out well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense great start to this game now let's see if they can just continue that this is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. It's second and ten. Ball on the 37. He's on the run. He's taken down at about the 45. Slings it, and they make the stop at the 47-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. That makes it second and six. He might have a chance. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it first and ten. Mike 17. Let's go, D. Quick throw out to the receiver. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want us. They don't want us. That brings up second and Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 40. Runs outside for a nice game. Yard line. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. The 10. And down he goes at the 2. That's a team 14 yards on the ball. That makes it first and goal. Mike 17. That's a slip. Somebody jumped early down there. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he's tackled around the six-yard line. Nix only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. Some open field. Touchdown, Auburn. They 
just make that play look so simple. The timing on that option was just perfect. And when the option is run this well, it is very, very hard to defend. And he hits the PAT. An 11-play, 68-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7 nothing. Auburn's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him 75. He makes it to the 32-yard line. That's good for game two yards. That makes it third and three. Hey, check by three, check by He makes his way to about the 45. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Seven-nothing, Auburn. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. It's our time. Mark check, 33. 33. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a deep That'll make it second and four. There's a strike complete. He's down. He's on the run. He's tackles around the 45-yard line. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. This is the ninth play of this drive. They bring the quarterback down. It's a big-time effort sacked by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Auburn up seven points. Throws it to the outside. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. the ground inside he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line complete brought down nothing doing These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. Heading for the corner. Robertson fields it at the 38, and he's tackled at the 49-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. 
Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at the 44. White, the ball carrier, gets to about the 44-yard line. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback and once it was thrown he knew exactly where it was going and he made the pick. From their own 33 yard line it's first down. Auburn is up by a touchdown. at the 40 and they finally bring him down at the 35 yard line that makes it first and 10 and he makes it out to about the 34 yard line Makes his way out to about the 25. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. What is going on with his defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with the scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick pass, tackle made around the 10 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Quick throw to the tight end, and he's taken down right around the six yard line. Auburn is up a score. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. It's third and goal. Ball on the seven. Scrambling. Dumps it out left. Got the fullback. So the fullback gets into the action with that touchdown catch. You gotta love the play calling from this offense today. You never know what's coming. He makes the PAT. Gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Pickens' character, I think, is really going to show in the third and fourth quarters. Right now, he's not having the kind of half that he wants. I'm sure the coaches are going to sit down with him at halftime and try to get him and his head back in the game. Well, there's still so much football to be played in this game, and... and 
when you're a, a big time wide receiver, I mean, the, the complexion of the football game can change in one play, one series. So still an entire half to be played. I think right now he's got to make sure he keeps his head in the game, stays positive, and is there for his quarterback for the rest of this offense, and who knows how quickly he can get back involved in, in having an impact on the outcome. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. to the tailback he's taken down right around the 24 yard line well we played a half of football Auburn's lead is two touchdowns hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The passing numbers put up in the first half are hardly gaudy, less than six yards per pass for these two teams. So you look at it and you want your quarterback to take care of the ball. I, turnovers are killers. I yep. get that. A little, but, too, a little too conservative in the first half of the quarterback. You want him to be a little bit more aggressive out there? But if you're not, then it's going to make it extremely easy on the defense. And I say that because if you don't push the ball down the field, I don't have to respect the whole field. There's a reason the field's 52-plus yards wide and 100 yards long. I mean, if you make me honor that and you, you, make it, you throw it down the field 30 or 40 yards and you make me run all the way down there and cover that area as well, it makes it a lot harder on a defense. Right now, the passes are so short, you're only making me cover 30, 40 yards. It makes it easy on a defense. The pass rush, you get your hands up and try to deflect balls. You know the ball's coming out early. It makes everything extremely simple on a defense when you make passes just dink and dunk, dink and dunk. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. It's time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Tackled after a decent pickup. First down. And they finally make the stop at the 34-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. Lost the ball. Fumble. And the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. So this could be the opportunity they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. Not want to let this lead slip away. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the call on the field will be reversed. Number Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Nice run. That's the middle. He's 
going to come up short. Good tackle. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It has the distance, and it's good! Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 17 to nothing, Auburn. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he almost has the INT. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Quick throw. The 50. He's knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Man, that was an impressive-looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. They'll bring him down at about the 21. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Second and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Tigers lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. White gains about four yards on the play. That'll bring up 36. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle at about the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the one. Short pass play for the touchdown. Nice call down here this close to the goal line. The defense is thinking run, and they pass instead. And he tacks on the extra point. So an eight-play, 79-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Georgia, the kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Auburn's offense has really been firing on all cylinders, especially here in the third quarter. Well, they got off to a good start, and they've been able to maintain that, maybe take it to a different level in the third quarter. It's going to require that for them to be able to get out of here with a win. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. He lets it go. And they make the stop at the 45. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And down he goes at about the 29-yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He scrambles. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it second and 14.
Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. They come out in a five wide set. He's tackled at about the 17 yard line. That's a game of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. The 10. He gets to about the 5. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Tigers. That's what makes this offense so tough to defend. When you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field, chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. It was a six-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. He's on the run. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 46-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. He's in trouble. He passes it. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 46. quickly and he's got his man he's pushed out of bounds at the 30. that's a great tackle at the 30 yard line Inside give, and they get nice yardage on that run. The delayed handoff picks up about six yards there. Swings it out there incomplete. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to learn a little bit more on their ground game. They'll knock him down for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. run and he's brought down sets up a screen tailbacks got it he gets hit out of bounds right around the 32 yard line this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play 24 10 Auburn
Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Marshall to punt. Robertson fields at the 29, and he's tackled at the 35. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made the 39-yard line. Rifles at right. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's taken down around the 24 yard line. He throws right. He's got a touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Schwartz from the two. He's taken down at the 31. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Auburn is up by a touchdown. And they push him out around the 35-yard line. He might have a chance. Up the middle for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Quick pass. Brought down in the open field. That brings him second and five. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down the 47 yard line. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Oh, excellent punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tackled after the 
Anderson pick up. Here comes the pressure. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle at the 29. backfield with five wide receivers. Quick pass tight end and he wasn't ready for it. From their own 36 yard line. Second down. Gets out to around the 45. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Steps out of bounds at the 45 yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Ready! Throws a strike over the middle. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. We have less than a minute to go. Nice run up the middle. Shivers gains about five yards on the run. Second down and six. Ball on the 39. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Takes a knee. Georgia's called their final timeout. Him hard at the six yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. going to do it for this one. Our final score is 24-17, Tiger. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Auburn comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.